A Muslim American journalist named Noor Tagori will be appearing in Playboy magazine's October issue. Quote, she'll appear alongside a sex activist, a comedian, and novelist as part of the magazine's Renegade series, which highlights people who have, quote, risked it all, even their lives, to do what they love. This is a story coming from CNN. Uh, earlier this year, you guys will remember that Playboy decided to do away with nude photos to sort of capitalize on a different market, and Nor will be appearing fully dressed. Um, she has some sneakers on, leather jacket. She looks really cool. Um, and the 22-year-old journalist who reports for Newsy appears in the issue clad in just blue jeans and then her leather jacket and her head is covered like I said and then there is a tweet that Noor tweeted out just saying um, that she's behind the scenes and that the announcement uh, has happened with Playboy she seems super excited and yeah a lot of people are celebrating this but I have to tell you guys she's gotten a lot of flack online especially on Twitter some people have even gone so far as to question if she can call herself a Muslim if right. she can truly worship um, because she's posing in Playboy. To me, I think this is fine. Um, I, Playboy has absolutely rebranded, but I want to know what you guys think. Is this, is this okay? Is this flies in the face of her religion? What do you think? Well, Grace Baldridge is uh, really the eminent scholar on Islam in America. Yes. So if she says it's okay, then it must sure. be okay. Now look, first on the issue of religion, uh, there is a wide range of practice in every religion so there are nuns who are the most liberal people on earth and they think that if you are in favor of executing people and you're uh, for the death penalty, you're not a real Christian. And then there are people who are super right wing who think that, oh, if you're for, if you're not for abstinence, you're not a real Christian, right? And you have this giant range of Christians. In Islam, you also have a giant range of Muslims, Sufis who are more into mysticism and spirituality and who, uh, some of whom drink, uh, super liberal Muslims who believe in helping the poor and the needy. I know that you don't see a lot of them in the news, so they think, no, that doesn't, some knuckleheads think, that doesn't exist. We have a range in Christianity. We have good Christians and bad Christians, I know, because they're my neighbors. But the Muslims are all bad, or mostly bad, or vast numbers of them are bad, right? No, of course, there's a huge range. There's a very liberal Muslims, very conservative Muslims. And the very conservative Muslims are often in the news, unfortunately. So that's why people get a, a weird look at it, or, or an unrepresentative look at it. Okay, now in her case, this is kind of a shwang wang wang story because Playboy doesn't show nude pictures anymore. What are we doing with Playboy? What's happening here? I'm totally against this. Well, and so as she's. As someone who's read it, it's weird, Jenk. It's not what it used to be. Yeah, and she's. Look, I got to keep it real. She's super hot. And she actually kind of looks like Kim Kardashian a little bit. I don't no, know. That's, no, that's no. She, I think she's she's stunning, Grace. I'm sure you had you had a Playboy subscription, Grace. I didn't have like a subscription. Lies. Guys, don't make it weird. I, I you think did. She, that's kind of no, awesome. I didn't have a subscription. It was okay. I, I, I'm I think, so embarrassed now. I think Nora is so. You read it for the articles though. Yeah. Okay. I, and now I especially read it for the articles because that's kind of all they have. But <laughs> the nudity in Playboy started sucking years ago. Um. Nor I think she's su supremely brave, one, because I have a lot of Persian and Muslim friends. And I actually talked to them about this today before I came on the show because I wanted to, I wanted to get their take on it because, you know, the, the, um, the, the whole headdress is very important in their, in their religion. And a lot of them are like, no, I think it's fantastic that she's, that she's going against the grain because a lot of them want to go against the grain. But the, the honor in the family, the, the, it, it, especially in Los Angeles, the reputation these families have to uphold their, their, their Muslim um, background. And she's in Playboy. It's not like she's in she's in a magazine like you know Newsweek or to, or USA she, Today. She is a journalist, right? She, I mean, she's credible, but she's go in Playboy, which is historically a nudie mag, mm -hmm. being you know. So she's subjecting herself to so much, I would like danger, because I mean some extreme people could very well be really offended by this and be like, you know what, let's take her out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there have been a lot of hateful comments thrown her way. Do you think that this is a good step for? Um, just Muslims in America? Do you think that this is the sort of visibility that the Muslim community, who we talk about a lot on this show, um, are just, just I, the word that's coming to mind is just being shafted by Donald Trump, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that this is the sort of visibility that helps them, or does this hurt them? Well, if we saw that in Playboy, that would be a different story. Damn okay. it. Um, I right, walked so, myself into that one, too. Okay, all right, uh, so look, I think it's actually, in some ways, great for Muslims until somebody screws it up, right? Because, uh, it gets people to go, oh, there are different kinds of Muslims, right. right? And they might not have known that. 
Now, culturally, yes, there are a lot of immigrant communities that are much more conservative. So, and, and Anna and I have had this conversation, both Turkish and Armenian communities are more conservative. And, and so, now one is Christian, one is Muslim, but they come from an immigrant background, like, no, don't go and play boy, are you nuts, don't go and play boy. So they would flip out over that no matter what the religious background is. Now, in the case of Islam, yes, there are fundamentalist Muslims who are, uh, who unfortunately are around, that are over the top, that will threaten you. I've gotten many, many threats. Some are very, very specific, right? And so, so that's real too. And so it is definitely brave, and it fits into the theme that they're they're doing. I wish it wasn't brave. I wish that it was perfectly normal. Uh, but that that part of Islam also exists. And so. I love that she's doing it. It was a little bit of a head fake because you know I thought, oh, she's going to be in Playboy, and then she's covered still. So okay, well, that's, but that's still the, brave. Do you think that it matters that Playboy is a historically nudie magazine, even though Playboy has totally rebranded? Yeah. Do you think it? Because to me, that was sort of my you know gut check on this is that Playboy has totally rebranded, and as everyone is now well aware, I read Playboy, and I actually. I, I do like the rebrand. I do like some of the articles they put out, and I think that they will do a good job on this. Um, I, I think that we can't hold Playboy to the same standard that we... No. Stop laughing at me, Jenk. I, th I don't think that we can hold Playboy to the same standard that we used to when it was just, you know, sort of the, the Pam Anderson of right. my youth. Well, of <laughs> my youth. Um, but the, here's the thing, you're a smart individual, Grace. Grace Thank is you. smart, everyone. Who and, knew? And, you're, and the thing is that you're able to see the rebranding of Playboy for what it is because you're, again, a smart person. Most people aren't, can't get past the fact that there was vaginas, oh, not vaginas, I'm sorry, boobs and a lot of uh, risque images on Playboy's back in the year. So um, there, that's, I think that's the bigger issue, too. Okay, uh, I, the reason I was smiling, Grace, is because I was imagining all the other magazines rebranding. I remember from my youth, I was like, how in the world is Jugs going to rebrand? <laughs> it's been <laughs> never read it's Jugs. Very or difficult. Penthouse. <laughs> Penthouse, you can that's at least you got you got a shot there. Watch. Next week it's gonna be like breaking news from Jugs. You get hours of extra content if you're a young Turks member. TYTnetwork.com slash join. Go ahead, girl.